So let's take a look at a quick way to get in touch with people on your course and uh, to collaborate with them, which is provided by an instant messenger to a messaging tool, which we include in uh, most of our languages at Warwick courses. Now, this is the instant messaging tool once it's set up on a machine. It is specific to your computer, but you can download it onto as many computers as you wish to have it on. It's a very small, light um, program. Now, what you can see here is a long list of um, the courses that I'm on. And what I'm going to do, first of all, is just to open one of those. So you can see that on this virtual exchange course, if I click on the triangle to expand, then you can see that uh, I've got one person who is on that course who's actually online at the moment, who's available, so their status is coming up as available. My status will be projecting as it is at the top here uh, with available as well. So if we wanted to get in touch, I would just double click that name and that would open a dialog box and we'd start to um, have a discussion. So let's see what that dialogue looks like by just demonstrating it by with somebody who's not online at the moment. Um, so if I double click here, you can see now the dialogue box, a very typical um, dialogue box that you have. But BBIM has additional tricks up his sleeve. So as well as the text box at the bottom here and the emoticons that I can use to send text messages backwards and forwards, I can at any point decide that I'm going to move to um, a spoken conversation, or even take this further and move to a collaboration, a shared whiteboard area. It's as easy as that to get in touch with um, people on my contacts list. And it doesn't need to be just a, a call that involves one person. It can be a joint call as well. So let me show you how that would happen. Under the Tools button here, I can call a group chat. And I can group people into groups already, or I can simply start a group chat, a group chat and then invite people to join it. Um, so there's a lot of extra tricks that we have um, up our sleeve with uh, Blackboard Instant Messaging. Now, the next thing I want to take a look at is how you manage your preferences for this account. So this is under the Blackboard IM tab at the top left hand side in the menu items. And if I scroll down here, I'll come to Preferences. It's probably the very first thing you will need to take a look at when you install the program. Because by default, the program sets up alerts um, to tell you who's online and tell you what's going on. So let's take a look at the alerts. Um, this box here, the play sound, is by default enabled on pretty much every situation. So you're very likely to want to alter that. Otherwise, you'll see all the activity that comes and goes through all the classes that you're involved in. So as you can see, there's a long list here of different potential situations. And as you select these, you might choose, for example, just to play a sound when there's a call coming in to alert you to it. And as you can see underneath here, I've also selected use alert for my contacts only. So the system then knows that I'm not interested in the comings and goings of everybody, just the people I interact with. So it's worth investing a few minutes just getting to know the system and setting it up as you want to. And once you've done that on your, on your laptop or your computer, uh, then those settings will remain. The other things you might want to uh, take a look at are the profile area, so that you can put a little bit of information about yourself so that people can recognize you, and perhaps uh, an image. Um, these things are quite useful. And you can check and change a lot of things within these tabs, including the, the technical details of how the program runs. So have a stroll through preferences once you've established the system on your machine. And as I said, you can set this up on more than one machine. Uh, but every separate machine you set it up on, you will have to edit your preferences. Um, status messages, if I open this, you can see I've collected uh, and created different status messages. You can get into these through the um, access that I was just looking at just now under Blackboard IM, or you can change them directly here. So, for example, I might want to um, change these just to reflect the fact that I'm not available for a discussion at the moment. Uh, and 
then that status will update on everybody else's um, machine, if I'm a, particularly if I'm a contact for them. So the advantages of using something like this, well, it's very quick and easy to get in touch with somebody, very quick and easy to take that from just a text conversation to a spoken conversation uh, with the audio managed uh, effectively and uh, also even to take that to a collaboration, a shared whiteboard area um, where you can perhaps um, discuss the words that you would use for a, a piece of homework or to swap ideas. So do have a play, install that on your machine um, you will just click the box within your course that says download IM here and you're away.